Hello again, it's me. So, I tried something new. I tried to do live streaming of this campaign and I got through two different videos, two different streams, and just realized that streaming with my equipment and my internet just wasn't going well. I had too many issues. I mean, both of the videos just cut out without any reason the internet just died and so it were it really wasn't pretty and then my my actual like interface and the map battles and all of that were really laggy and gross so I'm not gonna do live streaming at least until you know I get better equipment if that ever happens so I decided I would still record myself doing a total domination run or attempting a total domination run with Grand Cathay and I'm gonna just restart so I scrapped that other campaign. I'm just gonna restart with Miao Ying and see where that takes us. So I have Miao here. I just wanna check. So on the other one, on the stream I did, I had normal and normal. I feel like that's cheating, but I'm afraid I'm a bit of a coward. Um, I guess I, I'll do enable diplomacy for scenario factions. Um, I don't know. I can do ultimate crisis mode, but that also scares me because that could get out of hand really fast. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to leave it off. If I get into this and find that it's like way too easy for whatever reason, then I might either restart or I think I can change some of the difficulty after the fact. But for right now, we're going to... Leave it as that. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do... Well, I had turned all my settings down for the stream. So, actually, let me... Let me put the settings back up to... What they were before. So, I think I had Ultra. I don't know if this is going to make a difference for my... I think I had TAI... So you can see what my uh, settings are here. Hopefully this won't make the recording laggy. I'm not using internet for this, so hopefully this won't be too bad for the video. But okay, let's Saint get back Ma's to will. Meow Ying. We'll check this. Enable diplomacy. Okay, let's get going. I didn't get very far in the streams. Like I said, I only streamed for like two hours total. So it really didn't do much. <laughs> didn't get very far. I fought a lot of battles on the map too, so that slowed me down. And if you watch my Grimgore campaign that I did, I am really bad at map battles. So I'm forcing myself to fight more map battles and... I think Cathay is a fairly easy faction to fight on the map. Just their range capabilities are pretty strong. And if you can get a bunch of archers just pelting the enemy and routing them before they even hit your melee, then you're usually in a good spot. So we'll see how this goes. I've played Cathay a couple times before, but I've never gotten very far. So the whole purpose of this, the whole purpose of playing like a an easier faction like Cathay is to try to do a total domination and I haven't really set out to determine what exactly total domination means so I haven't decided if that means that either myself or my allies as in like defensive or military allies owns the whole map if that counts or if I would have to like backstab my other allies and like take full control on the map. I don't think I like that so much. Um, it just depends on what we're looking at when we get to that point. And again, I say this if we get to that point because things can go bad in a hurry and my campaign could end before I even get to that point. So we'll see. Show courage, show harmony, and show unity. This is the Cathayan way. Okay. 
so this is familiar. I've done this start a few times. I'm gonna embed my hero. And then we're going to go after these people. And I'm gonna fight this on the map because I don't wanna start off taking the auto resolve casualties. Even though it's decisive and low, it's still going to take health away from all of my units and I think I can mitigate that a little bit, so. We will see how this goes. And it's kind of cheating because I've already fought a lot of these battles on the map already, but that's all right. It gives me practice at least. These easy battles are good practice for me. So we will probably set up the same way that I set up before. And I'll kind of explain that when I get to the map. Explain kind of my... Um, my thought process with how I uh, how I set things up so all right so let's look here all right so I usually put my Where artillery my in the gun? back this one's a little bit different because it's flying, so it's not as vulnerable as like a cannon or a mortar or a trebuchet, anything like that. But we still want to make sure that it doesn't get sniped. Stone and, steel. and then I put my archers. In this case, I could put them a little behind or under the artillery. And then put these crossbows in front. They have a little bit better range. In uh, and then I set up my melee units here. In and I'm usually will put melee units back here to protect the archers from being flanked. But I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna get to that point. Um, the anti-large I usually put up front just as charge defense, but I don't think... Okay, so they have horsemen, so maybe I'll switch this around in case the horsemen try to flank me, but I don't think it's gonna come to that. The hero I usually try to put... Especially if it's a wizard hero, I, I don't want them to be in melee Ready unless you're Meow Yang and then you can be in melee, but. All right, that looks good. This is basically the same formation that I had Ready, as always. when I played this before. I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit. It is decreed. All right. And then we can speed this up so that they get into range. Our sky junk's gonna do some work on their infantry. Yeah, so like I thought, their horses are gonna try to come the storm wind to flank us, but. Of now, if they get close enough, I could do a searing doom, but the the AI is pretty good at uh, rooting out evil. The AI is pretty good at dodging. So maybe I can put that on their archers, distract their archers a little bit, so be it. and then we'll just pepper them. Pepper them with I arrows. Sent by All right, so their horses are coming it after me. And we'll just sit them right there. <laughs> Alright, the only thing is... I wonder if I've got more. Sorceress nope, I haven't cooled that down yet. Might of so I'm hitting my own guys Sorceress. here, which I don't like so much. Whatever I may just have them halt. Because... Alright, I don't know how to get them to stop. 
toggle fire at will, so stop. Stop. So you're killing your own guys. And we'll... Yeah, so they're shattered. They're coming back. Meow's doing fine. I could transfer, transform her into a dragon. Alright, they have already broken. There we go. All right. So I guess I didn't get the transformation the off. Unleashed. I kind of want to debuff him because I want to kill him. The celestial people. They will perish. That's probably not gonna. It's not gonna get off, is it? If I can pull her back. It didn't do much because it's probably not great against a single unit, but or yeah, a weak versus a single combatant. But what you gonna do? Just want to see if I can get there. All right, now did anybody take damage? I took a little bit of damage. So did they. One person. I'll just heal myself up a little bit. Now I gotta be careful because if I catch up to him, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna catch up to him. I don't want my arrows to hit my own guys, so let's just heal that unit up, and we'll just we'll just pull everybody back. Yeah, we'll just call it there. Cool. So the spearman took one guy out, which is really sad. Sad for that one guy, but good for us at least. Oof. It's not a good number to be remaining at. Darn it. That one guy ruined us. What a stinker. But, see what I mean when I say Cathay is, like, pretty easy to fight on the map? I, I also understand that this was peasants and a guy who's not that great, so. I know, I was, <laughs> I'm making a big deal out of nothing, but I get excited when I have a map battle that doesn't go horribly wrong. There will be more difficult ones in the future. My goal is to build up with mostly jade warriors and jade archers. I should mention, yeah, I don't need to replenish. Um, experience would be good. I don't really need the money. So I should say that I'm playing with a bunch of mods that make changes to Cathay or enhance Cathay. Dragon. So part of that is just they expand the roster. So we'll see a little bit of that once I get the buildings built up, but it does offer like Jade Warrior cross bowmen with shields. Um, excuse me, Jade Warrior archers with fire arrows. So I just thought it would be neat to play with these other mods. And I think it also adds, I can't remember. I think this actually was added in the 2.2 release. But regardless, I do have some Cathay mods just to, to play with those for fun. The Jason told me that nothing was game breaking, so I think we'll be fine. Now this happened before on my stream and I thought it was funny because it's a land battle. It's not a siege battle. It's the same map that we just had. But if I auto resolve, I lose my Jade Warriors. Not even the one that's down a guy. It's this one that's fully at full health. So that's not at all what I think is going to happen at the end of this. I don't think I'm going to lose that unit. I 
I mean, this this garrison is a little bit better than the one that we just fought, but it's not better to the point where I would say that I'm going to take medium casualties. And I've noticed sometimes that, um, oh, my FPS dropped pretty bad. There we go. I've noticed sometimes that when I fight battles on maps like that are the same back to back, it sets up my army. <laughs> See, it sets up my army the way that I just had it set up. So kind of makes it easier on me. I'll keep this same formation. Just move them back here. And we can go ahead and get started. Now I think I want my sky junk to the focus on the archers once they, once they get this into range here. So they're on the bow. sides. The one unit is going to be in the trees a little bit. But that's okay. So the whole point again is to have Meow out here. And they'll probably be shooting her, but that's okay. She can heal up easier than the other ones can. I want to be in range of my archers so that they can be shooting at these units while they're attacking Meow. Okay. So that's a nice little clump. I wonder if I can get both of them with that nice. Alright, so they're moving off to the side. All right, let's pop a Searing Doom down on them. Oh, I didn't really... Well, if they stop, that's interesting. Yeah, there we go. Interesting. So just get them in range of my archers so they can start shooting them. Alright, so that unit is already routing. Broken, so... Have my sky jump go after the other one. The other unit of archers. And have my archers just pepper their archers. And... If I get a blob around Meow, I could Searing Doom the blob. Like, like this. If they'll stay there, they might dodge it like little stinkers, but... Nope, that was actually pretty, pretty good. So they're already routing. These archers came back. Go figure. I don't really need to use that just yet. I will give her a little buff. So they're routing. Um, Alright, see that was pretty easy. Didn't lose that unit. They didn't even take any damage. I mean, they didn't even touch my front line there. And I can heal Meow back up to her full health. So, yeah. I think I might just debuff them. Get more kills there. But yeah. Pretty easy to fight. Just wait till, until they get outside of the sky junk range. And then if I did okay, I can watch them flee in fast motion. Oh, there's only like two guys left of that unit. How sad. Look at him go. Look at him go! Run away! Through the trees. I do have to say, the maps in Warhammer are fantastic. Like, the, the level of detail that you get just, it feels so immersive. Like, look at this. This is amazing. Look at that. 
Like, I want to take a picture of that and use it as my background or something. Like, that's just so gorgeous. But let's end this, get back to the good stuff. Now, Sky Junk did some work that time. And the Celestial Dragon Crossbowman. See, they have the best job. They've got a ranged weapon and they've got a ton of armor. So they don't really have to worry about dying super fast like these peasants do. And these poor fellows that uh, did nothing. They tried. And we're still at 666. That's unfortunate. We need to get that one guy back. <laughs> we need to get back to our 667. Or we need to just build up our army a little bit more which I think we might be able to do fairly soon because I built up the tier 2 of my military building and those that one has the units that I want I don't really want to play with peasants Although I've been surprised. Some of the peasant units and garrisons are a lot better than I expected. Alright, so I want the Jade Warriors. So I want some archers. So I will do archers and I'll do a spearman. And then I'm going to get rid of the peasant spearman here soon, but... I I want to build up first, so I'll do another... The defense effort has need. Yeah, there we go. Spend some of our money there. The and then here... Dragon. See, I think I have my to be careful with please. my balance. So right now I'm 2 to yin. This is going to give me plus 1 to yang. But my technology could also give me to yang. So... Or to yin. It could give me plus... Because I like this yin one more. But... Let's see. So if I built... This... To... Yang... That'll get me closer. The and then I'll have to... Chosen daughter. Oh, I probably should start the technology now, though. Well, let's look at skills. I'm going to build into Meow's spells first. I want this missile mirror because that's a good one for when she's out there by herself being shot at. She can reflect some of that damage back to the, the archer shooting the her. Great and then we'll go with the spell line for this hero. The compass, I think I want pointed to growth right now. And technology, I want the ammunition, I think. For my jade warriors. For the defense effort. Alright. For my commandment. Makes me sad that they don't have a growth one, but I think since I'm recruiting right now, I'm gonna do. Oh, that's a good point. Storm Dragon. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till next turn because I want to get the lower, uh, the lower recruitment cost. All right, where should we go? Let's go to Reichland. The dragon expects. Okay. I provide. So I'm playing as Kolek, the Heralds of the Tempest, on a solo game. And things have just gotten out of control, like in a good way. So I have taken a lot of these territories. I've vassalized people up here, some of the Norskin tribes. I am on really good terms with Snitch and Lokir. And Lokir especially, 
has taken like everything. So I subjugated Meow. We destroyed Zhao. We destroyed um, the Jiangxi rebels down here. Nakai has been destroyed. The defenders of the Great Plan have been destroyed. We destroyed, uh, I think it's Festus, who's out here? The Nurgle guy who's out here. We've destroyed Heinrich. No, this is not Heinrich. This is um, Hellman. We've destroyed Hellman. We've destroyed Emric. Like, it's out of control. I'm friends with Grimgore now. Grimgore's strength rating, like, number two, who's taken over all of this. So it's like, I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to go. Except that Snitch is being a dummy and he's declaring war on people that I'm allied with. But I have a stronger relationship with him than with some of these other ones like Village. So I may have to back off here and take on some of them and like, I don't know, subjugate them. But whatever. All right. So now that we have the decreased recruitment cost, let's do this. Oh, we've got another slot too. So that's good. So I'm going to do... Two spears, one crossbow, or one archer. And then I may queue up again. I'll do Jade Warrior. Two oh, I don't have any more money. Okay. That'll stop me. Alright, I want this missile mirror. Because this is a good one to do for Meow. And let's see. Imperial Wardens. Sure. The I'm going to hold off on diplomatizing with you because you're at war with Xiao. And I don't want him to be mad at me right off the bat. City Natural Lord Magistrate. Okay. So we're going to be here for another two turns. So we've got two archers coming in. Three melee. I'm going to do another archer unit. I probably don't need a full stack to go after these other uh, settlements down here. And I want to be fairly fast about it because they're going to be building up their armies the same time that I'm building up mine. So I don't want to just dilly-dally and then find myself full stack against full stack. Alright, so let's see. Caravan, blah blah blah. Alright. Hunter. Missile specialist. Ogre. Um. Sure. Why not? What's the worst that'll happen, right? Alright, so let's build up our garrison. And... We may move on with just 15. We'll see. I can't, I can't get any more heroes. So... Yeah, I don't want to diplomatize with you. Okay. All right, yeah. We we'll go we'll go down there after this turn. I I want to be kind of fast, oh, well, as fast as I can with this first part because as I've seen in my Colette campaign, oh, that's right. This happened on my live stream too. It would have been an auto resolve with the, or uh, it would have been a decisive victory with the auto resolve, but I fought it on the map. And I think I'll, I'll fight it again. This uh, ogre army isn't all that big. I've taken some attrition, but we'll be we'll be okay. I didn't have the hunter before though. I'm not sure who I had before. I Well, actually, I don't think I had anybody. I didn't have a hero at all. So we'll see how this goes. The ambush that happened on my stream, they all came from one side, which was easier to, to manage than when you have like a Skaven ambush and they're just surrounding you from all sides. 
Fight for the pride. Oh my. <laughs> you are the of order, the defenders of harmony. This is so funny. It's like, oh, just me and my boys and then this big old dude. Maybe I'll have him go against the Lord. We are well equipped. All right, so. All right, so let's pause. Pause. All right, so we've got some saber tusks. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that. Let's see if I can get these guys. They don't hit up my archers. This guy is not super fast, but I want him over here. And then this guy is sword infantry. Last time he was a bit of a coward. Yeah, the saber tusk are really fast. They're gonna get to my archers before I can brace against them. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I think they mostly hit my spears, which is good. I say pray. Oh, he's a missile specialist, darn it. I totally didn't even pay attention to that. Totally didn't even pay attention to that whatsoever. All right. Warrior crossbows. The ultimate hunter. Jade warriors. Yes. All right, so they're like eating through my peasant spears, but Jade some of this may also be friendly fire because of my arrows. Jade warriors. Wants. Harmony. Ogre hunter. Let's get these guys in here too. I wonder if he's conflicted about fighting his brethren. Oh, I totally didn't realize that the saber tusk. Oh, I guess it's not actually, it's like pain or something. Oh no! Fight, men, fight! Oh, we killed some of the lions. All right, all right, you guys, focus on somebody else. Marching as one. I'm taking just as much damage from my arrows as I am doing to the enemy, so I want these guys to get out of the way. Okay. Well, it was still probably a decisive victory. I don't know how the auto resolve would have done with that, but it's fun to fight it. The saber tusk like made me nervous though because they're really fast. I didn't know if I would be able to cut them off from my archers in time. Once I am able to, I'm going to put some points into the skill that lowers the caravan ambush because ambushes scare me. And Jason, who plays, or who likes to play Icket Claw, like, thrives on the ambush because you can just position all your rattling guns and Gisales on either side. And they, like, they literally have nowhere to go. They just get completely annihilated. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of replenishment. The storm dragon. All right. Um, I'm conflicted. Should I go? Should I just gun it? Yeah, I think I will. I think I'm just gonna gun it. I shall claim it. 
They're probably building up at Pome because that's where their capital is, like their main building. That's probably the one we'll hit up the last at last. All right, so I've got one more turn before stuff's gonna happen with my balance. I'm gonna shift to Yang probably. Lord so Eastern Otto. River Lords. Yeah. The bloodline of the agreed. City command. So the goal is Didn't to try to confederate as many of these guys as possible, and. When I was playing on my live stream, I think Zhao had already started to confederate. Interesting. These guys took the Red Fortress. I think usually when I played before, they did not get that far to the east. It's like village's territory, so we'll see if they can take out village. That would be handy. But I've never seen them actually be able to do that. Ah, building up an army because you're scared. It won't matter. Okay, so I thought I will earn my mother's trust. I thought that we would be at Yang. Interesting. We can go back to Yang this way. Schematics from Nangao. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so we're going to close victory. I want to fight this one also because I want to take as few casualties as possible. And basically, if it's not a minor settlement battle, I may just as well fight it on the map. I don't like siege battles. Jason really likes siege battles, especially with certain armies. Like I didn't mind siege battles when I played as Gorok because... Gorok and Croak are like a two-man siege army in and of their, themselves. Like I would, this was in Warhammer 2, I would have Croak positioned right outside the walls and Gorok would go up onto the walls and basically just tank everything while Croak spammed the, what is it, the Deliverance of Itza? Is that the, the major spell? And I think when you start with Croc in Warhammer 2, he's already got, like, all of those spells. And it's just way overpowered. It's a lot of fun, though. Gorak is one of my favorite legendary lords. Okay. So. Let's, uh, what do they got over here? Do they have cavalry? No, I remember they didn't have cavalry. So we'll do a similar positioning with our sky junk back here. And our archers, we will we'll just spread out here. Warriors. And our crossbowmen. I think the crossbowmen, yeah, have a little bit more range. So I may Move them up and then just stagger these guys in between. Just in case they break through my line. And then the Celestial Dragon Crossbows I can afford to put up a little bit further because they're shielded. So if they were to get in range of the enemies, uh, the enemy's archers, they would be fairly okay. I'm going to put these spearmen. I'll put the peasants over here. Just to prevent any sort of flanking my archers. And then I will do another spear in the front. And then just warriors kind of spread out here. Jade warriors. Put my hero back here. And meow, I want to be like in the range of the archers. You will see your families again. This the storm dragon swears to you. I hope she's talking about my army will see my family again because they probably won't. They probably won't see their families again. OK. 
Okay. So, Sky Junk is doing its thing. Alright, so they... Okay, I'm gonna have the Sky Junk focus on the archers again. The Celestial Daughter. March for the Emperor! So okay. be it. So this is where magic mi magic mirror missile mirror will be good i want them to fire fire at me do a volley there you go because it should reflect their damage back on them yikes yikes and then we can searing doom this blob They surround me now. Yeah, so that was pretty, pretty decent. Give her some melee attack. Alright. Um... Let's move you guys up. You'll be fine. Go after their archers. Oh no, your spear guys. I don't want you going after them. Should be fine. For the Emperor! Drive them off a little bit. For the defense! And have Meow going after their lord. Acolyte of secrets! Oh, they're running away. Ready to defend. And they disappeared entirely. Interesting. <laughs> Chief, warriors. Most of these casualties are probably our own fault. For the Emperor. And I could just heal myself if I want to. I don't really need to, but My power let's turn into a dragon. Absolute. The storm dragon. It must be done. Defenders of Cathay. Mistress of Storm. Let's bring them back, draw them in so that the archers can have some fun. They're moving, so. She's taken a lot of leadership hit. Let's do a little cinematic view of their lord getting destroyed. Look at all those air. Is there an arrow? Come oh, I thought. It <laughs> She's just standing here getting pelted by arrows. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what she was trying to accomplish. Oh man. Oh man. The cinematic view is really cool. Let's see if we can get another volley from the sky junk. Oh, up there. Darn it. I was hoping they would hit these units. There's their lord. Yes, retreat. Restore your balance. Yes, restore your balance and flee. And meanwhile, I could have her transform back and use her life boom. Ah, oh, darn it. Let's see if I can get one off before they... Um, let's heal this unit. I doubt I'll be able to get another one off. I don't know how close they are to the edge of the map. Oh, they've got a little ways to go. 
I could just have them follow. It's pretty slow, so it may not be able to catch up, but in the meantime, I can heal myself back up a little bit. I've definitely found in this game that I really like having lords that are pretty powerful on their own. So I've played as Malice Darkblade. I really like him. I liked him a lot more than I thought I would. I like Gorok. I like Tyrion. I like the lords that you can kind of just put way out in the middle. Just have all the enemy blob up around them and then just spam spells on top. It's kind of my favorite play style. Um, I don't know if we're going to get anything more, so we'll just end it there. So far, we're doing pretty good. We lost four that time. Most likely was our own arrows. That's what happens when you have archers shooting behind your melee. But we will. We'll replenish those. I mean, I feel bad because in real life that would be really sad. That's like four named people with families, but in Total War, it's just a statistic. So this is not supposed to imitate life because real life, that would be really sad. But hey, we don't have 666 anymore. So that's promising. That's a good sign. Occupy. Probably don't have any good the units to recruit here. Dragon. Nope. So we may have to go after that other settlement with just our smaller army. So right now we're balanced until our technology goes through. The celestial meow. All right, meow. Let's put you. Let's do life bloom. Give you some more healing. And the storm dragon. for you, Juzu, let's do Gehenna's Golden Hounds. Let's see what diplomacy we've got going on here. Nope. 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 Celestial nope. Ancestors. So I've heard people talk about the Chaos Factions and how much fun they are, and playing as Kolek has been a lot of fun. Uh, it's just that there it almost feels like cheating, <laughs> because there's definitely a huge bias towards Chaos Garrisons in particular. Like, I had come down to Cathay as Kolek, and I've taken over most of Cathay. And I had, like, full-stack Cathay armies going up against my garrisons. And my garrisons were having, like, heroic victories. Like, not even Pyrrhic victories. Heroic victories. It's just ridiculous. Alright, so we've got a good amount of melee and only... Th yeah, let's add some more missile units. Alright, so they're building up at the Terracotta Graveyard, which I do not like. So let's get over there as quickly as we can. Hopefully, hopefully prevent them. Yeah, I want to. I want to get there before they build up this, this building tree. I don't want them to have extra garrison. Once we take out the dissenter lords, then we will be able to build up our army a little bit more. And we may have to build up our For army. What frippery do you distract me from the defense of Cathay? Oh, they're not the dissenter lords. They are... I guess trade agreement couldn't hurt, right? Nah, I better not. They are the rebel lords. Rebel lords. Yes. Oh. I shall administer the emperor's wrath. Let's do cargo. 
So you I just switched places, didn't you? Dragons. Warden of the Great Bastion. So Might this got a little bit more difficult because they brought their main army down here. Mostly peasants. Let's see what the map looks like. I'm gonna fight it. I think we'll be okay. We've got somewhat of like a choke point in the middle. Just have to keep watch out for the cavalry so they don't try to flank us, but I think we'll be okay. We've got spear units. See, I fought this battle before. But I don't think, like, the AI did something different this time where they moved their more full army down to this settlement and their other army up to the other one. Okay. So what do we want to do here? I think I want to move everybody up just a little bit. Why can't I move them? Oh, because I selected Meow. Oops. Knocked my mic stand. So. This formation's the same formation I just had, which really isn't all that bad. I can even have my sky junk lake right over top to get a little bit more range. The celestial yeah, this isn't bad. I give ascent. The storm dragon will lead you to victory. This so, is we're going to want to place our spears like this. Faithful. Bringing harmony. If we can get them bunched up, I can use a Searing Doom on them. We've got this Ancestral Warriors thing, which could be neat. So they're sending one unit of archers out that way. We've got a huge blob right over here. Acolyte of secrets. All right, so they are coming at us. We are bracing, but it looks like they're going to go after my from the side. Warriors. I wonder if we can catch him a little bit. Yeah, we got him. Okay. Okay, so it's good. Alright, so Juzu, get back here. Get back here. Ready to defend. Have you guys go deal with the ancestral warriors for a little bit. Okay, so they're already shattered. Let's do Searing Doom over there. Gehenna's is probably pretty good. Ah, oh, shoot, I should have done one right there. That would have been great. Oh well. Oh, I can do another one. Right there. Spears on that side. Spears over here. Have you go after those archers over there? Raise the dragons, mistress of storms. This is not going the bad at all. Sorcerer of 
as if we have no winds of magic. I want another Searing Doom. <laughs> or I would love my Missile Mirror. So they're routing towards me, which is funny. Now they're routing the other way. Okay. Naturally. These guys. For the defense. All right, so we have another Searing Doom, which we could put right here. Make sure I don't get into my units at all. Blob them up like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. The storm wind blows. All right, let's pull them out a little bit more. So the horses just charged through me as they routed. Interesting. All right, no. Just stay here. I want my archers to pepper you guys. Okay. Warriors. Do I need to... Oh, I don't have any healing. Good, good, good. So let's have Meow. We'll have on this area. Do a little bit of healing to them. Alright, so they are routing, but I don't want you to follow them. I want you to shoot at them. Ready to defend! Units are doing okay here. Holding them off. If I can kill their lord, then we should be good. Let's give you some melee attack and magical attacks. Okay. March for the Emperor. He's routing. Probably come back. Are you guys wavering yet? Yeah, shattered. Perfect. Okay. Cool, cool. And I'm out of winds of magic. Otherwise, I would do the healy thing on myself. Didn't take too bad. My hero got caught out in melee when I did not want her to. So... Fight as a one. Of steel. I wonder if I could position this. I would love if this goes off right. Shame and disorder. You accept this harmony. No. Oh. Wow, that took forever. I way over. <laughs> Overestimated how long that takes to go off. Whoops, I mean underestimated. Whatever. I had the timing wrong. I had the timing way wrong. Alright, we'll call that good. So that was good. I did a lot of damage with the Searing Doom. Oh my goodness, look at these guys. The Celestial Dragon Crossbowman did some work. I mean, if you look at it, the archers are always the MVPs. I mean, the warriors do a good job, except these guys. But the archers, like, if you look at the number of kills that they get, it's just ridiculous. And that's why Jason loves playing ranged uh, factions. So he loves Cathay. He loves the Skaven, particularly Scryer. He just likes the very heavy ranged-based factions. Which they are a lot of fun. I think they're definitely easier than playing something like Corn. Although people really like Corn. I played Scarbrand as one of my first factions in Warhammer 3. No, actually, I think Nakari was. Nakari was the first one, and Jason played Kairos. And he really likes Kairos, too. But, um, yeah, I had some trouble with Nakari. They're just, there's no it range. It's all about just speed. I didn't do very well with that. The storm okay, so I don't want... I don't want cavalry. Let's 
build up some more growth and let's put walls here. The so we can't move this turn. To fight for me is an uh, I don't want to recruit any peasants. We'll be fine with what we have. Favored daughter. All right, so for Meow, we could do physical resistance is probably good. This speed one, I don't really care about all that much. Speed and armor. I may... I mean, eventually we'll get most of these things just because we can go up to level 50, but... My mother would approve. Alright, so let's see. This is armor piercing weapon damage. Debuff, buff. I'm gonna go with this and let's go with the debuff. And checking Old diplomacy much. again. Nothing new. So we will send it on through again. One more settlement unless they've expanded further to the east. Usually they don't get quite that far. And I'm hoping. I think they switched off of one turn of campaign movements. So I'm hoping that we can get there before they replenish. Okay, yeah. So they just have the one settlement left. So we can go after the their capital. Defender. Pyrrhic victory. See, this is because it's a siege... I feel like I should fight a siege battle. But I don't want to. I'm gonna For the continue the siege and see if I can draw them out to the land. I probably won't. They'll probably just stay there. But, oh well. Alright, so let's build up a Nungao. And we're balanced right now. Let's build up some military units. And if we're lucky, they will attack us. I highly doubt they will do that because they will not win. I mean, they won't win regardless, but... They would make it a lot easier on us if they would just meet us out in the fields. Don't hide behind their tall walls. Alright, so let's see. We could do a shortcut. I'm going to keep to the established route. Yang is ascendant. Egad. That means we have to go into Yin. Schematics from that Which is gonna take a while. I am no slave. Interference will cost you dear. Just fight me like a man. Oh, stinking beast man. Beast men. Well, I'm not breaking my siege to go after you, so. So once we take out these rebel lords, I think I want to come back to build up my army and then I saw Eshin flash by. So that means Snigich has been busy to the south. Heed my words well. For Cathay to remain safe, you must die. <laughs> you must die. No. Nice try, but no. You can't just when I have the upper hand, say, let's go have some peace. That's not how this is going to work. All right, let's do cargo. I bow only you know what? I'm not going to fight it, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to auto-resolve. It'll be fine. We remain true to Catherine. Okay. So let's get rid of this building. Let's build up this building. 
Let's get... Income from here. Warden of the Great Bastion. Ugh. I have a feeling we're gonna have to go over to our main province. How far is that? To get the rest of our army. The bastion requires it. Alright, so for Meow, let's do Let's get Missile Mirror Overcasted. Storm and Dragon. We'll go with the buff this time. Okay. Compass selection. So I think we're getting fairly close to the Great Bastion threat. We're not going to stop it. I don't know. Growth and income is really good. Yeah, let's leave it. Blood guzzlers. They're like on the verge of getting wiped out, so we'll just try to milk some money from them. Okay. Alright, so we've taken out two provinces so far. We have wiped out the starting enemy of our faction. And right now, I'm just going to move my army back to the Nengao province area to get some better units. And then we will, most likely, unless something changes, we will head to where Snitch is. See how Zhao's doing down to the south. But I think for today, that's where we're going to end it. We did pretty good, and I will look forward to next time. So thanks for joining me.